President, I do want to drill down on something you both brought up. Uh, the Vice President brought up uh, your tariffs, you responded, and let's drill down on this. Because your plan is what she calls is essentially a national sales tax. Your proposal calls for tariffs, as you pointed out here, on foreign imports across the board. You recently said that you might double your plan, imposing tariffs up to 20% on goods coming into this country. As you know, many economists say that we tariffs at that level cost are then passed oh on to the consumer. Vice President Harris has argued it'll mean higher prices on gas, food, clothing, medication, arguing it costs the typical family nearly $4,000 a year. Do you believe Americans can afford higher prices because of tariffs? They're not going to have higher prices. What's going to have and who's going to have higher prices is China and all of the countries that have been ripping us off for years. I charge, I was the only president ever. China was paying us hundreds of billions of dollars, and so were other countries. And, you know, if she doesn't like them, they should have gone out and they should have immediately cut the tariffs. But those tariffs are there three and a half years now under their administration. We are going to take in billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars. I had no inflation, virtually no inflation. They had the highest inflation, perhaps, in the history of our country, because I've never seen a worse period of time. People can't go out and buy cereal or bacon or eggs or anything else. These, the people of our country are absolutely dying with what they've done. They've destroyed the economy. And all you have to do is look at a poll. The polls say 80 and 85 and even 90 percent that the Trump economy was great, that their economy was terrible. Vice President Harris, I do want to ask for your response. And you heard what the president said there, because the Biden administration did keep a number of the Trump tariffs in place. So how do you respond? Well, let's be clear that the Trump administration resulted in a trade deficit, one of the highest we've ever seen in the history of America. He invited trade wars. You want to talk about his deal with China, what he ended up doing is under Donald Trump's presidency, he ended up selling American chips to China to help them improve and modernize their military, basically sold us out when a policy about China should be in making sure the United States of America wins the competition for the 21st century, which means focusing on the details. She didn't answer the question, though, focusing about the tariffs. On relationships with our allies, focusing on investing in American-based technology so that we win the race on AI, on quantum computing, focusing on what we need to do to support America's workforce so that we don't end up having, the, the, on the short end of the stick, in terms of workers' rights. But what Donald Trump did, let's talk about this, with COVID, is he actually thanked President Xi for what he did during COVID. Look at his tweet. Thank you, President Xi, exclamation point, when we know that Xi was responsible for lacking and not giving us transparency about the origins of COVID. President Trump, I'll let you respond. First of all, they bought their chips from Taiwan. We hardly make chips anymore because of uh, philosophies like they have and policies like they have. I don't say her because she has no policy. <laughs> Everything that she believed three years ago and four years ago is out the window. She's going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. She's gone to my philosophy. But if she ever got elected, she'd change it. And it will be the end of our country. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics, and he taught her well. But when you look at what she's oh, done to getting, our country, and when you look at we're getting petty now, and millions of people that are pouring into our country monthly, where it's I believe 21 million people, not the 15 that people say, and I think it's a lot higher than the 21. That's bigger than New York State pouring in, and just look at what they're doing to our country. They're criminals. Many of these people coming in are criminals. And that's bad for our economy, too. You know, you mentioned before, we'll talk about immigration later. Well, bad immigration is the worst thing that can happen to our economy. They have and she has destroyed our country with policy that's insane. Almost policy that you'd say they have to hate our country. President Trump, thank you.